in this video, we're going to use, use Streamlit in Google's Gemini large language model to create a web application that will serve up uh, multiple choice questions for us. And why am I interested in doing that? Uh, because I have a real, real use case <laughs> uh, for it. My nine-year-old son is preparing for his upcoming STEM ball uh, tournament or competition. So he has been practicing, and uh, but he wanted to do he wants to do a lot more questions. And uh, I figured why not use the large language model to generate questions for him, and he can that way you know keep doing do that as long as he wants or as many questions as he wants. So yeah, here's what we're going to do is we're going to create this web app here that looks something like this. Have a title called STEM question. We're going to actually uh, get the question from Google's uh, Gemini model, pop it here, and we'll ask the model to give us four choices, uh, and one of them will be the correct answer. And then uh, let's say he selects the answer and he will hit submit, and uh, we will compare his answer that he selected to the correct answer that uh, the model is going to tell us. And if it's the same, we will say correct. If it's not, incorrect. So basically, he will know if it's correct or not, his choice is correct or not. And in either case, we're going to show an explanation for the answer. I think it's important to understand the why behind it. And then if you wanted to do another question, I want him to be able to say another question, click on it and uh, we would refresh this and go get another question. All right. So here's basically the code that I'm going to share a link in the description. So you can go get this code for yourself if you want to. And uh, essentially all you really need is this four libraries uh, that you have to import. And uh, I always start my code with this idiom here, you know, if name equals main. And if you're if you're familiar with all of this, that's great. If not, I think it's important for you for uh, if you want to learn more about you know what what it does and all that stuff. I'll leave a link to this article here. But basically, that idiom, uh, <laughs> you know, name equals main, allows you to execute code when the file runs as a script, um, but not when it's imported as a module. Don't worry about all of that stuff. Um, um, Again, like I said, I'll leave a link for it, but it's important. I think it's, you know, you want to be Pythonic in the way you program in Python. Uh, yeah, I think it's a, this is a, a good practice to follow. So anyway, anything that comes after that, you know, the, all the, the conditions here is what's going to get executed. In this case, we're going to set our Google API key to um, um, a variable that's in my local environment. And why? Because I'm going to have to uh, provide Google this API key here. Okay, and then we actually call this function called main. And then in, in in standard practice, you know, in our function main, you know, we actually want to create this title, and then we're going to set up everything here that does all the things I want to do here. Okay. The the another important function here is this get question. This is where we actually are going to the Gem Gemini Pro model, and we're asking uh, providing this prompt here. Um, to get the question. And basically what I'm asking for is give me a, qu a question, give me four choices, let me know which one is the correct answer and give me an explanation. So we get all those four values back from the model. All right. And then because I want to be able to refresh, if my son says another question, I want to be able to refresh um, the question here and the choices in order to do that. We have to basically clear the cache and that's all taken care of through this function here, initialize session state. I'll leave a link for you guys for interested in learning more about what it does and why, why it's uh, needed or required for certain elements, uh, uh, you know, why it's required for some things, especially like, you know, trying to clear the, clear the cache or store something in the memory, etc. Uh, I'll leave a link so you can learn more about it. Anyway, uh, let's see all that, what this code really does. So this is the output of the code. Here's the title. Here's the question that we already have here. Here's the, in this form, as you can see, little like, you know, little line here, little box here that has, it, this, so that the choices and the submitting your answer are within the form because we're, that's what we're going to be clearing up. Uh, uh, we can, you know, we're going to clear the cache. So here we go. Uh, what's the, let's try this. I ha actually have no idea what animal is known for e-chocolate. I don't know. 
my son would know. Oh, I guessed. I had no idea. Oh, echolocation, not each chocolate. Echolocation to navigate. Okay. You saw the little thing spin here for, for a few seconds. That's the part that was basically clear in the cache. So if I hit another question, it should give me a, a different question. Uh, uh, this one I do know for sure. Jupiter. Yay. So essentially that's what it uh, it does. Um, and you know, it cleared the cache. So if I were to hit another question, it should give me another whole different question. It does on and on. He can do this until... You know he's tired of doing it or you know he's satisfied for the day or whatever so there you go guys i was going to be doing this because i had a real need to create this i figured why not showcase what i did but at the same time um give you the code as well because you know what you might not have the same situation as i do a nine year, nine year old uh who needs to practice for 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 a stem competition uh, but you might you know find a use case for this i don't know you might want to retrieve certain kind of questions uh, for some other purpose, you know, I can think of many reasons uh, for using this code, repurposing it uh, uh, for many other purposes. So, hey, you're going to have the code that can create an application that looks like this. And, uh, hey, go forth and code. Until next time.